Hi, Cancers. In this reading, we are going to ask your higher self what you need to know about the person you're inquiring about. But we're also opening up to your spirit tribe, your guides, the universe, the divine. That whole tribe of protective and guiding forces over you to find out what you really need to know about your person. At the end of the reading, I will open the reading to your person's energy and invite them to come forward and give you a message. If this reading doesn't resonate for you, check out your other sign positions. Your moon rising or Venus may resonate better. There's also the extra wild card reading that I do. You can check that one out to see if I picked up your energy in that one. So, let's jump in. This is for my cancers. Let's find out what you need to know about the person you're inquiring about. What do you really need to know? Hmm. My cancers. What do they need to know about their person? It's really important for them to know. Hmm, I think we got our first one here. Hmm. Oh, I love this one. Ooh. Hang on to that one. We're going to have a top discussion on that one. Let's get the next one. Let me get the next one here. Mm, no, I'm not feeling that one, y'all. This is a beautiful card. There it is. Ah, I love it. I love it. Okay. So, with with this one, this is about um, wanting to fit in. Uh, the need to fit in. Uh, you see all the swans. Yeah, and our girl following the swans. But the big important thing is when we look at the fence... Back here, it's not actually fences. It's gates everywhere. Gates. That means your person knows they are self-empowered. What they're doing, uh, wanting to fit in, uh, to uh, feel like they belong, uh, make others feel like they belong. They're doing it in a self-empowering way because they know at any time, they can stop and walk away. They can exit. They do not feel trapped. Ooh, I love this card. It's a, it's a freedom, but, you know, you know why you're doing what you're doing. With this one, this person has sacrificed. Sacrificed a lot of their dreams, uh, their longing. It's just sort of beautiful because there, there's no blame. This is where, you know, you gave up your dreams, your aspiration for something in life early on to do something else. Something you felt was more important at the time. But your person does have that still longing, that uh, little bit of desire of looking back going, oh, I wished, I wished. But, they, this is a very loving person. I don't know how else to put it. Because they hold n no blame. They don't blame their self. They knew why they gave it up. And it was important for them to give up their dream. But they do have a longing for it now. Woo! Mmm, this, yeah, mm. Let's pull the Romance Angel Oracles on this. So, yeah, but just know your person, they, they, there's a dream they're holding on to, a true dream, something they gave up, and it could be for our connection, or it, I mean, it could be anything, whatever they gave up for, to them, it was worth it, it was worth it, they knew exactly what they were doing what they were sacrificing and it was really important for them so let's see on our little swan over here in that freedom and that love of being with others flowing in sync with others let's find out a little bit more about that one I'll give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Mm -hmm. So whatever they they sacrificed, it was more a relationship and connection was more important, way more important to them. So yeah, let's see what 
will come out on that dream card, that longing. Because <clears throat> like I said, I don't sense your person is holding blame on anybody. They knew exactly what they were doing. And they they knew their own feelings. And yeah, it was self-empowering. Ooh, unrequited love. There's not enough att attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. We're going to clarify on that one. Because like I said, your person... Mm, doesn't hold any kind of grudge, but we want to find out exactly what that is. Children, your love life is being affected by children. Ooh. Children, say connection, children are factoring in here, uh, cancers. And a lot of times uh, the children card can actually represent like a, adults that are in like a vulnerable childlike state. So just know because your person uh, gave up, gave up a dream for obligations to, uh, let's put it this way, family, family, relationship, uh, yeah, to take care of family. Mm -mm -mm. The unrequited love. Let's pull, let's find out a little bit about that one. Let's pull the uh, Heaven and Earth Tarot. Let's find out about your person, that unrequited love. What are they talking about on that unrequited love? On that longing, that longing card. What is my cancer person? Because I really don't sense they gave up a relationship. They gave up a dream. A dream of doing something, of achieving something in life. Could have been they gave up school, uh, finishing, you know, working on degree or something like that. They gave up something they really wanted. Uh, for Because their responsibility and obligation to them was a lot more important. Which is... You know, I shouldn't say responsibility, obligation. The people that depended on them, that needed them, was more important than their dream. So yeah, let's find out the what they what that is unrequited. We've got momentum, eight of wands, strength card, Leo energy. Oh yeah, I'm feeling that one too. King of Swords, Aquarius energy. Mm, mm, mm. Fascinating. Okay, hold on. Virgo energy. Virgo energy. Hmm. Let me clarify this one. Who is that King of Swords of Crazy Energy? Who is that? Who is that? Mm, there it is. Uh -huh. Princess Peaches Bottom Energy here. Y'all give me a minute. Magician, okay. So, yeah, okay. With this one, like I said, this person that's coming forward is, is what is really important for us to know. They did sacrifice a dream, a hope of something, of achieving something. What caused them to actually have to sacrifice and put them in that position to choose, um... The family, who, the people that needed them, was uh, a broken relationship, an actual broken relationship. And it's coming in as uh, King of Swords, um, jealous, 
person uh, when we get our king of swords uh, energy in the shadow part that means uh, somebody was very cold uh, disconnected on a heart level uh, sometimes you know I, in the shadowy part of that king of swords I pick them up like a drill sergeant they want everything done their way <laughs> And if you don't do it that way, they, you know, they're going to they're gonna try to dish out, you know, some punishment and stuff on you for that. You know, 20 put, you know, get down and do 100 push-ups, that kind of thing. They were also very jealous and um, clingy. Mm -hmm. And probably tried to stand in this person's way of achieving dreams. Or it's coming across as that you're, this person feels like... Um, this person's actions uh, really caused them to have to give up their dream. But like I said, they're not holding it in like a, a bl I'm blaming this person. They're empowered theirself to know they chose their path. Now, regardless of what this person's behavior, actions, and influences were, they chose, they freely chose to give up a dream. Yeah, and part of their dream, what they give up, seems to be uh, like career, something that would have been tangible, because we've got the princess, the page of pentacles, you know, that's earth energy, but it was something that they could uh, tangibly achieve, and they're really wanting to go back to this, to, to uh, work on this. With our magician. So yeah. Uh, with these cards. It's, it is saying. It's whatever happened between. And I got a feeling. Uh, the relationship with this person. And it may be. They ended up being a single parent. Something like that. This uh, con connection with this person in the past. You know that had such an influence. Was cut off quick. It cut quick. And then we got your person that pulling in on that strength card, trying to get things to work with them instead of against them. A lot of struggles. Uh, inner strength, they've learned a great deal and went through like a spiritual um, awakening through that process of evolving on a different level. Because like I said, this person does not hold blame. And their, their, door, their way of thinking is, I chose my path, regardless of what every, and that's self-empowering. Uh, that's when you can stand up in this true strength of, I'm not a victim of anything. I chose what I did. I chose my path. It doesn't matter about the influences. I was still free to choose. So the, it's like a true Forgiveness, understanding forgiveness of every, every bad influence that, you know, uh, put, you know, most people, you know, would feel victimized by it. Your person doesn't. But they've been alone. They've been a loner for a long time trying to figure things out and struggling. So, yeah, that's, that's, ooh, your person is like an amazing person. So, to have went through what they've gone through, and to stand in their power, but just know they've hit a phase now of where they do long for this dream to to uh, rekindle, to try again. Yeah, and like I said, that could be their education, career, arts. I mean, anything. It's their dream, what they gave up. You'll see our ballerina wishing, you know, she's wishing. She could walk that tightrope and, yeah, laying under there longing for it. So that seems to be the important thing for my cancers to understand about the person that's coming, you know, that you're inquiring about is they, they've got a lost dream. So they might need a little encouragement and it might... How do you put it? If you were to spark a conversation on it and uh, might help them go for it. Because they might feel like, well, all my opportunity for it is lost. Feeling like, you know, they can't. Or I'm getting too old, that kind of thing. It might spark them into realizing they can. 
they can. They probably truly need to be supported on that level. So, yeah. Let's see, is there anything else your higher self wants to say about this? Because like I said, the, the main thing was to for you to be able to recognize your person. There's something. They may not even have mentioned it to you, but it probably shows. Uh, they gave up a dream, and they really want that dream back. Oh, yeah. Ace of Swords. This is victory. The victory you get after challenges. Your person has definitely been through some challenges. And, and they just, they simply might need our swords. Uh, it's also about communications uh, with the Mercury energy and stuff. Open up, get them to open up and talk about it more because it might put them in the mindset of, oh yeah, I can. Because your person sacrificed a lot. A lot. They've learned a lot. Ooh, yeah, intuition, intuition, and that would be my cancer energy right there, uh, intuition, no, yeah, you already, it's telling you, you already know, ooh, yeah, simply talk to your person and help them see that there's nothing that can't be moved out of their way, yeah, yeah, that's the tower card, and that is, uh, you know, things that oppress you, that rule over you, that you're holding yourself back by, a lot of times it's in our mind, our limitations. And your higher self is telling you, you already intuitively know how to pick up this person's energy and know exactly what to say to help them see past that tower. So, yeah. Woo. Yep, your person is battle-weary. Battle-weary. Yeah, a lot of struggles. But also, when we get the nine of... Uh, wands that is uh, the the break in the battle that uh, you're right there at that 10 of wands and you're getting clarity yeah and i got a feeling you're going to be used my cancers as part of this person's clarity to get past what's been holding them back because like i said they've sacrificed a lot a lot and to them, it was worth it. It was absolutely worth it. But they still longing. And they might just need a little bit of your encouragement to help them go for it. To go for their dream. And not think it's impossible for them. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and pull the uh, tarot in translation. This is the journey of the heart. Or journey of love. It's Susan Bones creation. I will try to remember to get a link to it in the description box we're, we're going to look at the energies going out in front of us for one to two weeks from now one to two weeks it is a timeless reading so whenever you find it, it should be one to two weeks out in front of you what is the energy in this connection looking like for my cancers and their person see what we got here What's coming their way? What's the energy between my cancers and their person? I'm going to take that one. Ooh, we got another tower. Though it might feel like love is a destroying force ooh, for your person. Mm -hmm. You're breaking through to new levels of your relationship. Build a new foundation on the strength of your love. Yeah. Oh, I like that. It's going to take that one to the magician. You hold the keys to creation for your journey in love. Bringing your heaven to earth. Prepare to manifest your desires and guide your dreams into fruition. Ooh, my cancers, you are being used for the person you're inquiring about to help them really open up to... Going after their dream, after them thinking it's impossible. Impossible. There was too, way too much ruling factor and influences over the situation. And they've gotten into that, uh, how do I put it, routine way of thinking. It's like programmed into them to naysay their self and be like, no, I can't do that. And your higher self is like telling you right now, you're being used to help this person 
break down that way of thinking and actually get some enthusiasm and a little bit of hope and faith to believe all things are possible. Mm, bringing in a true sense of healing. These messages are from your higher self, your trap. We're going to get advice for what you need right now to, in this connection. Mm, my cancers. Y'all are mystic healers. I can feel it. Whoever is watching, you are helping truly. Seek divine inspiration. Mm -hmm. That high priestess card, you're already tapped in. Explore. Explore. What else? Ground yourself in nature. Mm -hmm. Keep your energy grounded. So, oh, I'm pick, uh, just uh, empath or absorbing someone else's uh, energy. <laughs> yeah, it might be that down in energy. Ground yourself because you're being used. Someone else is being, you know, um, you're being brought to someone else to feed their energy of everything is possible. Everything possible. You know, you got a divine calling on your life, especially if they've given up something and it's still calling to them. They need to answer the call. It's divinely inspired. They need to answer that call, and you're you're there to help them answer the call. Don't lose your faith in this situation. Mm -hmm. One more. Remember your worth. Ooh. Dang, your higher self is like, um, actually, this is like the kind of stuff you need to be saying to this person right now. Remember your worth. Don't lose your faith. Ground yourself. Explore the idea of this dream. And know it's a divine inspiration. You've got a calling. Wow, your higher self is just like reaching out. This is why I'm saying I got Mystic Killer here. Because your higher self is like, I don't, we don't need nothing. This is what we need to do for this person. <laughs> so yeah, definitely a Mystic Killer coming through. Let's go ahead and open up the reading to your person's energy. See if we can get some messages to come through. Which deck am I being called to? For your person, this is for my cancers. Come give me a minute. I'm looking over the decks. See which one's calling to me. We're going to do Conversation with Counterparts. Another one of Susan Dawn's decks. And then I'll probably do ooh, Butterfly. The Butterfly deck. This is from a cancer person. Please allow them to come through and speak whatever they would like to say. Whatever they would like to say. This is for my cancers. My beautiful cancers. Mm -hmm. Y'all got some good energy. Because I'm just feeling like, ooh, so at peace. And their person, please allow the person to speak through. And I'm feeling it right there on the bottom. My heart is on fire for you. Mm -hmm. I'm awakening to what this love really means. Wow. Yeah. What else? Right there. I'll never give up on us. I'm healing old traumas. Healing old traumas. I think your person has already done a really good. Their higher self, their tribe, their spirit tribe has worked really well with them for this healing. Because I really feel like they're on the opposite side of that tower in most of their shadow healing. Uh, so, yeah. We are on time. Everything is on time. Yes. Allow this love to unfold perfectly. Yeah. I wanted to take the top one too because my thumb is tingling on it. Your light is leading me home. Aww. Leading me home. 
Oh, y'all know I'm going to get teary-eyed. Let's go ahead and switch off the bags here. Leading me home back to myself, back to remembering. I, do, I have dreams. And I can accomplish those dreams. Cancer, y'all are amazing. Ooh, and y'all know I'm sitting here getting all lovey-dovey energy on y'all because your person's energy is coming across the lovey-dovey of they, they really feel blessed by having you in their life. Mm. Ooh, God, I'm going to get teary-eyed. Ooh, let's let Cancer's person speak through this. Oh, my goodness. Mm, 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 your person really, your mm, cancers, they really do love it, admire, I mean, everything, it, it, that's no lie, their heart's on fire, fire for you, whoo, one more, one more, let this, let this energy roll off of me for a minute, mm. My cancer from their person. Cancer from their person. My feelings for you are real. Mm -hmm. You changed my life forever. Mm. Yes. Mm. Ooh, you I'm gonna feel that energy on that one, y'all, because that is that is like a profound. I don't think they can express it deeply enough to you. The feelings that is coming over me, it is like, yeah, your person just don't don't have the words to express. I've waited forever for you. No, you might be real dream also. <laughs> Mm -hmm. But for real, just know they're they're holding back. Bring it out and you know, find out what it is, and then encourage them. I'm trying to look strong. No one will ever love you like I do. Oh yeah, their love is profound. Bottom energy. I don't want this to end. I don't want this to end. Oh, okay, my cancers. This is the real me. I better stop because y'all know I'll sit here and pull them off for you. Yes, I will. Okay, that's all I have for us, guys. I'm sending you love and light. Many blessings as always. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope I'll see you again next time. Bless be.